Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going to be doing a deep, deep clean by examining the soapy wonder of the Awa Awa no Mi. The Awa Awa no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to conjure and manipulate soap and by association, bubbles. Essentially allowing its user to harness the power of cleanliness and yes, I know I say this a lot, but this ability is much, much better than it sounds. The Awa Awa no Mi was consumed in the series by assassin turned secretary turned assassin again, Califa, and made its first appearance during the Any Slobby arc. Very simple etymology this time as the fruit takes its name from the Japanese word for bubble being Awa. And on this particular occasion, it has resulted in both Fizz and Funimation deciding to translate it as the bubble bubble so getting straight into it, as stated before, the abilities of the Awa Awa no Mi can seem slightly underwhelming upon first glance. I mean, yay, we can conjure soap. Glorious. So what do we do now? Pursue the coveted title of King of the Cleaners? Well, quite possibly, actually. And we'll get into that in a bit, but for now, it's very important to point out that this is no ordinary soap, because the product conjured by the Awa Awa no Mi has supreme cleaning properties, instantly dispelling dirt and grime from whatever they touch, but they can also clean some uh, less than conventional values off things and people, the one most prominently displayed in the series being energy. That's right, by targeting another individual with the Awa Awa no Mi, you can actually clean away their power, draining them of their energy and leaving them in an incredible vulnerable state. Not only that, but a cleaning conducted in this manner will result in the side effect of leaving the opponent in an extraordinarily smooth and shiny state. And this state is probably the primary selling feature of the fruit as shown in the series, because it goes a bit further than your simple shiny glory. And in fact, it actually leaves the soapy victim's body completely malformed, allegedly because the cleaning smooths out all of the body's curves. In this state, the opponent is capable of very little, not even basic movement, because the body is so smooth that it slips over essentially anything. Kind of like the Sube Sube no Mi possessed by Alvida, except the user has has no control over their slipperiness and for all intents and purposes becomes immobile. So this technique is particularly fantastic for dealing with opponents who are say far more physically capable than yourself. However, the caveat is that the user of the Awa Awa no Mi must perform the cleaning themselves. So you do need to be swift enough to move your hands over the entirety of your opponent, which is a condition that may be difficult to fulfill if the levels in strength and speed are vastly different. Or if your opponent is just plain too big, like some sort of giant. Regardless, the cleaning power would still be somewhat useful even if you only managed to malform a small portion of an enemy because it would still throw them off fairly considerably. Although there is a downside to this being that the weakness of the soap is very simply water. After coming into contact with water, the soap will be easily washed away. So if you were to be using this fruit in combat, I'd highly recommend not being in a location that's entire purpose is to produce water. You know, like a bathroom. Another unfortunate counter that does exist in regards to this devil fruit is wind, specifically in regards to any techniques involving bubbles. Because one relatively powerful gust of wind later and your plans are all but ruined. So depending on the day, fighting outside might not be such a great idea. So inside is a much better choice from the perspective of control. Just once again, maybe not a bathroom or a kitchen. You know what, just, just stick to the living room. It would be the ideal location for the use of this fruit. But for more on this, let's take a closer look at the fruit used by assassin extraordinaire Califa. Now, just as with Kaku, I should point out that Califa had zero time whatsoever to really explore her new abilities before being thrust into combat. And also just like Kaku, she did pretty phenomenally under those circumstances. The main advantage Califa possessed when it came to using the fruit was her sheer speed, given that she is a superhuman due to her mastery of the Rokushiki techniques. As a result, Califa was able to easily gain physical access to her opponents in order to coat them in soap and immobilize them, which she did on two separate occasions in battle against the Straw Hat members Sanji and Nami. Although in the case of Sanji, her success was more to do with taking advantage of her feminine wiles. Califa did did also come up with an excellent defensive maneuver involving soap by condensing it to the point where it becomes a hard physical shield, sort of like a super bar of soap, I guess. In any case, this shielding technique was surprisingly strong, enough to resist a thunderbolt, actually. And Califa seems to also very quickly discover the power to mold and engrave her outer shell quite nicely with a delightful CP9 logo. So she was a pretty damn fine user of the fruit, but then again, she also made herself into a sheep, so. Moving on to the wonderful world of awakenings, and I feel like this stage is where the fruit really does start to become a real threat in the One Piece world. The ability to change your surroundings into soap is pretty insane. I feel like any devil fruit that could potentially allow you to make the environment more or less intangible is a great asset because without anything to stand on, opponents can't do a hell of a lot, unless they have some form of sky travel at their disposal. It's also one scenario where the user of the Awa Awa no Mi may not mind wind interference so much as it could create a massive soap storm, giving them an even greater advantage. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a soap human. 
Even without the advantage of an awakening, it's still very possible for the user of this fruit to somewhat control their environment simply by coating it in soap and making it super slippery. I mean, it would be unlikely to have a great effect in higher levels of combat, but against rookies, it would throw a nice banner in the works. Also, with all of this talk about combat, I think I may have lost sight of the true calling of the Awa Awanumi, which is cleaning. As demonstrated by Califa during the CP9 cover story, this fruit is fantastic for quick and efficient cleaning on mass. With this devil fruit, you could start your own cleaning business and charge an absolute fortune for cleaning giant areas that would take you almost no effort at all. So look, this fruit gets a lot of hate within the fan base, and I feel like most of that is completely unjustified. The Awa Awanomi has some pretty crazy off the bat powers with the potential to immobilize essentially anybody you can touch. The problem comes with the two gigantic elemental weaknesses of water and wind, which in the world of One Piece, you know, being known for lots of water and lots of wind, it's pretty difficult to avoid. As a result, you as the user would likely be relegated to a more specialist invocation of the fruit, but that certainly does not make it bad by any means. It is a brilliant asset to anyone who wants to work with the elemental restrictions and explore the true potential of soap. And if not, then well, go and make yourself a giraffe or something instead. And with that, we are going to commit the Awa Awa no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, I hope you're ready for ball jokes because we are going to be diving balls deep into another heavily underestimated fruit, the Berry Berry no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Awa Awa no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. So you know when she gives you the look? I mean, no, I'm not talking about this look. That look. That's the one. That's the look.